Welcome back guys to Child of Light where we retreat from the crystal caves full of shocking lightning being resonated along the gems to find ourselves a confession that we've missed to pick up one simply before the entrance of the Tree of Thorns. So with that said we gain confession number 5 so let's give it a read and then get back on track. They say the four from out of darkness came, Matilda shaped cruel nature with her art, the surging ocean symbols math did part. Rambert spread his wealth upon the barren plain. Aaron's spear lit the highest peaks of flame. They say at the explorer's heart lies the secret of ages to impart. For its fire the wilderness they did tame. But if all was dark, from whence came their spark? Light dances along a chain, flaming bright, spreading out to bridge the cold empty night. Stars to star, trailing blooms of red hot fire. Such a path must scan our ah, sky's blackened arc, leading to another dawn. A lost light. And so with that done and said, I guess it's time for me to warp straight back over to the location we were prior. Let's get moving back to where we were. So we return to the caverns under the sea where heading to the right hand side of where we entered the joint, we've got doors mysterious places to explore so let's get looking around even more before we head into the darkness. It was before us. Sounds like I'm rhyming by accident in a weird way, but let's go through this kind of noxious gust that isn't really pushing me back. Well, there's lots of spikes that I've got to wear out for. Watch out for them, one dude! Whoa! Okay, nearly went into the spikes. And it seems we have ourselves a big beastie to fight. Well, that said, though, I think I'll claim the treasure. Let's double elixir, tumbled sapphire times two. Should we engage in battle, see when we can get a surprise attack? Gigantic random bosses wherever we go. And we're gonna have to be nuking at these, that's for sure. Hmm. What do I want to do first here? Because if anything, I think personally... I might want to be taking out... The horses first, of course. So with that, Katakita cleave all. Or shall I taunt first? Considering the fact that we've now got super powered taunt. So much so, I might actually switch party members to Tristis here. Especially if I'm getting healed at the same point in time. I'll give you a haste, sir. Oh, I don't think you're going to beat me to it. I want to get physical attacks galore in. 54 armored? Well, it doesn't seem like I'm healing every second. Oh, look at that. That's just ridiculous. Well, I am, so with that said, let's get a Katakita Cleave on one of them. Can I beat him in time? No, I can't. Well, that said, however, I should be okay from attack no matter what. Katakita Cleave, oh, would that go in first? I wonder. No, it will not. Unless, unless a little bit of switching takes place and a super fast tumble. Can it work that way? Now if I slow the other horse, I should be able to get a double interrupt there. There's not much HP left on our horse friends, but I don't think I'm getting an attack in this time. Well, it doesn't restore HP half as fast as I thought it would. But all the same, if you're getting a little bit of extra healing, that's never really that bad. Taunt turned out to be less overpowered than I really thought. It's just basically every turn I get, by the look of it. Either way, let's get physically attacking. Try to end these horses. Critical hit, one horse down, two horse down. And well, that said, I should be able to get in a tumble here, shouldn't I? Oh, or not. Well, that said, it looks like you are going to need to defend, sir. In the meantime, I may as well heal you up a bit more, because we want to actually switch you out. Well, we may as well keep cleaving, in case we might get the chance to obliterate. War is who we want, though. Let's get in a crazy damage... Ah, Starlight, I think. Of course, you're not going to do much damage, but you have the chance to completely obliterate someone. I think it's time to switch in Finn, don't you? Well, either way, they're going to fight for this one. Let's go for a category cleave again. Oh, just, just ahead of me, are you, sir? 
And no more taunt on, which means I can get actually hit. No obliteration. And no haste on my character either. Critical hit is exactly what I want at a point like that. Right then, let's see if I can switch in Finn here. Do I think I could get a strike before? Yes, I can. And with that, that should be goodbye to our enemy. I couldn't see him surviving the combo that was about to come out. We'll take the experience that goes with it, that's for sure. More levels across the party yet again. Big bundle of experience. And everyone just keeps on leveling. A facet tourmaline is ours. Right then, skill points available, that's for sure. But another boss defeated is what I'm more interested in. Oh, I missed that. All the same, everyone pretty much leveled up, so we shouldn't have to need to restore any mana or anything anyway. We should be perfectly fine to continue onwards. Random bosses found, random bosses defeated in no time at all. Our power knows no bounds. Well, let's get back to where we were. Or take the waterfall down, as the case may be. Another tumbled tourmaline. Damage elixir times three, and I may as well take out you as well. Alright then, well, I think if anything, well, lightning all probably would work better. Let's go for a lightning strike all, and then a starlight all. Because no matter what, that should take out pretty much most of our opponents that ever try to face us. The overall damage power there. The interrupts. Even if it only does 197 damage to one between the two of them, they've got just a complete and a nuke routine. Nothing can survive. I'm Gen, why are you so sad? This is mini makeup, it's fairly bad. What do you like underneath? Forget sad, oceans of grief. Did your parents die? It's just who I am, I cannot tell you why. Truly sorry about your parents, the hurt. It's a part of me now, I'm like a plant growing in its dirt. And revenge is your motivation. Ow, yes, forget about the electric things. And get zapped, Sam, get zapped. Well, let's head back to where we were. Now that we've got extras. Also special stuff picked up. Let's keep on traveling onwards. We've gone up, we've gone down, if I'm right in saying. Checked all around. You're always wondering sometimes, like, oh, did I miss something? Is there, like, a secret compartment off to the side? Well, let's claim back my health there. And get searching into the darkness. Right, where am I going? That's what I'm wondering. Well, enemies around. And there did seem to be a dust in front of us there. Those parabs, though, I have not been using. Now, how about knocking some big magical strikes again, sir? The combo, the combo! Nothing can survive it. Except maybe you. I was going to say, I think you might just, but you just chose to heal. You probably will survive now because of that. How dare you! Well, that said, however, if I switch to Rubella and Tumble, should I be able to get it in before? Though, to be honest, unless we're attacking magically, we're not really doing the damage that we need. Oh, no! You want to strike first, but strike to the back you did. Well, that said, we'll take one more out. Though, if we're going to go big physical hit and try to take you down, it's better switch to Oingus, that's for sure. Turn it into a pile of rubble. It's fine by me, sir. Level up whenever you want. Again, levels up as well. So there is indeed... Wait a second. A little, like... Secret walls and stuff now as well? Okay. 
Whoa, look, another arrow! I hope this path does not lead to a barrow. Well, that's interesting. I did not see the arrow light on this one. Oh, really? Okay, so... Yeah. Hmm, well, you've got a treasure chest hiding, sir. For that, we want it. But if we follow that path, will that complete our last remaining quest? Last remaining, he says. Oh, really? Not a surprise strike? Okay. That changes our overall theme of what we're doing a fair bit. But if we change to Finn for the lightning strike for the weaknesses and then go for a taunt, we should make sure that, of course, Finn does not take any damage. Meaning his lightning strike can get out quite nicely. Or at least that's the way we'd like to look at it. Well, that's two targets down, one to go. Can you get your obliterate in there, sir? I don't really want to finish this guy off with anything, but, you know, let's get him Robert for a time. Robert, sir, would you like to fire an arrow for once? Will he even defeat the opponent, considering Oengus is there with lightning on his claws? And yet more levels. Robert, you finally got in to do something, and then you never even got to strike. You do seem to be our least handy party member, I've got to say. Well, where are we going? Oh, hello. Looked like you were priming to attack, but I'm not going to allow that. Well, there's more treasure chests there. More things to light away for us. Everything's so vulnerable to all our lovely lightnings. It's kind of hard to try and use someone else but Finn at the moment. To put an end to these guys as fast as possible. In fact, that was such a nice hit itself with the Katagida Cleave. Especially because Kinder in the critical on the back row. Probably end this fight nicely between the two. We just don't stop leveling at this point in time. Let's get all the experience. Alright, so we've got an Anglerfish here. Defense Elixir times three. I tend not to use those consumables, but where are we going? Alright, the Path of Light says down here. Okay. But what's over here? You gotta see, I, I wanna go everywhere. I wanna explore every place. Tumbled Emerald will be ours. But if we fight against the wind, what can we find? Oh, we've already opened up this area. This pushes us that way. From there. Okay, then. Well, we had to go back to find confessions, but really that just brings us back down to this location. So let us keep looking around. Let us keep instantly ending enemies' fights. That's for sure. Finn, first attack? Perfection, sir. Will they even survive to see another? I doubt it very much. Now, to be honest, we might want to restore a little bit more as MP before we keep nuking, but we might just restore it just from another straight level up. At this rate, man, Finn, you've got the power. Well, let's keep gaining what we can. So down here is where we want to head according to the light. Down right royally below. Can we get into some kind of... Aha! Secret. So these are what these green things are pointing at, eh? So straight along for Simbel's mark. Sir, I'll have you from behind. It's amazing with Finn being able to end these promptly with such crazy abilities. Now that everything's lined up to be elemental weakness, everything goes down quite laughably. We'll take one interrupt there. Vulnerable to lightning back row goes down. Katagida Cleave does not defeat our opponents, but does set back one of them. Who's taking the hit here? Finn! You don't want to get hit, sir. It's very bad. All right, Rubella, come out. Should be able to tumble before this guy without any problem. Get the hits on the paralysis. 
and just cleave them all down. Still not defeated, you say? Wow, he's a bit hardy, he's managing to survive. Who's gonna take the knock? Well, no one's gonna take a knock. Rubella's just gonna stretch out and end this nice and fast. Still alive? He must be like on his last HP. He clung on, didn't he? He really did not want to go, but Gen levels up some more. Statistically did seem one of my more weaker characters. Hello, Confession. Floating around? Well, I can't even grab you at this rate. There's a treasure chest hiding in the darkness as well. Hey, hey, don't put your jump. Number 13 is found. Well, this is a bit difficult. Uh, let's try to go up between them, eh? No? Okay. Um. Go, 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 go. There we go. Pull myself upwards without worry, but it seems we've got chambers of spikes and doom as well. Or we'll take that in the meantime. Where am I heading is where I'm wondering. I need to get up and round for you to open that side. Well, this isn't leading us to where Symbol's Mark was saying, was it? Hmm. Or is it? Okay, we're back at this location. Oh, didn't get any magic for Finn there, but he should level up soon enough. Let's open this treasure chest and see another mark going straight along. And we we'll walk into the spikes. That's always cool. Right, so if we keep following this location, this way, we see another place barn there. We can pick up the chest here and see we've got to go lower down even still. We are masters of detection. Not what I'd like to say. I'm a master of getting spiked. In various ways. Oh, I missed something there. Oh, yeah, up here to get this one. Keep following the path. It's set out for us. Alright, so we could have got round easily to that one. But we didn't. We just took it from the other side. We took it through the wall using the Nicholas. Well, let's get to work. In fact, this battle should be over before it starts. Yet again, Finn, sir. We've gained a little bit more MP. We've got two uses of this. So you may as well put it to good use, eh? And we know the back row guy is going to go down. So let's focus full power on the front row. Owl countering magical attack for 119 damage. Maybe if I'm lucky. Ah, oh, Finn didn't quite level. I'm well, assuming he's got one more blasting boost out. And the MP we just picked up there. You'd kind of think that we'd be a bit lucky soon enough. Alright, enemies up on high. Swimming in the sky. We're not really swimming in the sky, considering it seems we're underwater. Still, where exactly do we tend to go? Apart from all the enemies around, he had to turn at that moment, didn't he? Let's just keep on leveling, I say. This will probably cause a lot of interrupts, won't it? Apart from that, should I just get Aurora in and try to go for the Starlight All? We're going to have to try to watch people's attacks as a whole. No, he did get ahead of me. Still can Lightning after that counter-attack. I know the Lightning's going to take down back row friend. Or enemy, depending on how you want to put it. But now we have no way to quickly end this battle. It seems to me, though, a little bit of counter striking's going on with heals. 46 was all we needed to take down that one. I say, get out of Lengus again. Beat him up, sir. Oh, only 86 damage we need to hit with spells. In fact, he might just conspire to heal, but no, he just lets us go. Okay. Let's use Light Ray. We haven't used that in a long time. Only a level one spell, after all. But enough to take the monster out. And level up Aurora as well. Didn't even need to heal her. Finn levels up to restore all his MP. And we keep going with even more stuff. 
And so, with paths to travel, past those are due Sinbel's markers leading us to and fro, we keep on traveling around next episode because we... I'm gonna read another confession. So, which one is it to open? This one here for Mr. Elm's eyes only. This evening, while I was hunting for apples, don't worry, I used the drawings of the poison-free ones in the book. I saw a floating castle in the distance. I suppose the Queen of Light lives there. I wonder what it would be like to rule over the wilds of Lemuria. From the map, I can see it's a pretty large place. It's taken me days of wandering, and I've only seen a fraction of old Lemuria. What is outside the old part? What is the rest like? Maybe I'll get to explore it all. Hopefully, once I find you. After roasting a couple of apples on the fire, I'm using the dying flames to explore Balthazar's book. I'll just write these as I go. Fairy tales aren't so tailish. Even saw a griffin yesterday. Mysterious explorers built cities here a long time ago. Some are still populated, says Sophie Ashton Ellis. And with even more confessions and even more stuff to Mr. Elm, revealing a bit more about the world in less prose, we continue on with Child of Light next episode. Join me then, guys, and I'll see you around. Bye-bye.